Hi everyone, today I'll be talking about Plotter. Plotter is a ring bound system that's from the same company, Design Fill, which owns the Traveler's Notebook, it owns Midori. Both of those have very strong brands um, in Japan and internationally. Plotter has been around for about five years, uh, only recently launched in the US, maybe a year or two years ago. and. You know, something that really caught the stationary world was Plotter making its debut at the pen shows. Um, Plotter uses something called DP paper, short for design fill. So it's a proprietary paper that's very fountain pen friendly. And by debuting at the fountain pen shows, they've really caught the attention of a lot of great stationary enthusiasts. I personally found out about them through April of Penguins Creative. She works for Design Phil and I just love seeing how she uses her plotter. I would say plotter, the branding is a little bit more, um, I guess like forward future thinking rather than memory planning. Um, that's kind of their, that's kind of their niche. Uh, it's a little different than I would say a lot of the Hobonichi, which you know people do a lot of creative arts. Um, just glancing through the Plotter website, it's a little bit more utilitarian, like how people are using it um, to jot down ideas, things like that, um, rather than sketching, collaging, things like a uh, little bit more of the artist feel. So let's get into it. I personally don't own a plotter, so I don't have the leather plotter binder, which is very elegant and beautiful. Um, you can take a look at what it looks like on the website. Um, but here I have the monthly and weekly inserts. And depending on how you like to organize your planner, parts of a pro is that you can do the monthly followed by the weekly sections in that month and do it the next month. Um, rather than all the months and bunched up in the front, followed by all the weeks. So depends on how you like to do it. This is the A5 size. And you can see, let me zoom in. An overview, this is actually a horizontal weekly layout. And this is a monthly. So I'll sh flip through a couple of months just so you can see what it looks like. Move this to the side. You can see it makes it really satisfying crinkle. It's very lightweight, this paper, and it's very smooth feeling. And here we have a Monday start, and you have Sundays in red. You have weekly tasks. I would say this box is quite narrow, so you're going to have to keep those weekly tasks very short. It's about three and a half centimeters, weekly task. And yeah, the box is about three and a half as well. Three and a half by three and a half. So, and then you have monthly targets, which I really like utilizing the space for a monthly target. Um, you can continue it down here. Here, I guess you can do some tracking or just big monthly things that you want to do, but you haven't been able to schedule yet. I feel like this would be great. And then weekly tasks, you can break that down into shorter tidbits. They give you five little boxes each month, I mean each week. And that repeats. I believe it starts, it has a December monthly start and it goes until, goes until, I do have a lot of, it is hard to flip it without, without the rings. Um, it goes until March of the following year which is really nice. They also give you a couple of note pages in the back. So if you are a Filofax user or even Happy Planner, they use rings, and you like the idea of being able to put pages in, take pages out, reorganize pages, you might enjoy the Plotter Planner and you might enjoy their paper, which is very fountain pen friendly. They have this age chart, horoscopes, personal data, have an interview in Japanese. It's a very, very beautiful. Yes, so you can see the rings are very small, which makes it very elegant. Okay, oh, it's nice, 
I included an interview, which is quite cool. And you can see here, yeah, this is how people would use the monthly section. I like that they include an example. You have the lunar places of the moon. I guess appointments you can split into two. I really like this. Very minimalist. Um, I, I think my favorite part is that monthly target section, which I don't see in many planners. So what a very cool Monday start. All right. It's not easy flipping through loose leaf pages. Um, and then you have weekly. So weekly is horizontal weeks. It is a January to March. So 15 months. And they give you an example of how to use it. Um, they have the time on the bottom in 24 hour time and you can just kind of cross it up when you have a meeting. They also have faces of the moon. What number week it is into the year. You have annual goals and overview of the year. I like this. It's a really nice touch. Annual mission. Oh, I'd love this idea. Just we can plot down your goals and kind of box them in of how far you've gotten. It's a nice little visual. This is a little utilitarian, I would say. Like this is I feel like plotter is very much for someone who is into um, kind of like that minimalist forward planning simple pen and paper. I do see people do art on it or sketches, but it doesn't have, it has more lines, right? So because it has more lines, it's not as free flowing as like the Hobonichi, which gives you a blank page every day um, in their Techo and Cousin. So I would say people probably use this more of a jotter, maybe bullet journal, um, more for writing. At least um, that's how I, I would use it. Uh, feel free to share you know maybe ideas of how you would use it if if you really love this paper for watercolor or fountain pen that could be cool too so they give you monday to sunday on the left side and they give you a whole blank page for every single week on the right side and then i really like this they have the entire month on this side which I'm not quite sure how I would use. Yeah. I'm not quite sure because this three to nine would be here. And I guess you could use it again for the next month. Um, maybe if you have like a project coming up on the 26th, this is just to keep you aware and then it moves up on the following, right? Because you flipped it. So kind of crunch line. I'm not. 100% sure how I would use that. Um, this seems like it would be an interesting work planner. You can write down some of your big meetings or projects and then notes on this side would be good or takeaways. So that's kind of interesting. Yeah, I haven't used that many horizontal layouts, but I feel like I could definitely work with it. I would be curious if they ever come out with the vertical layout. Um, that might be cool. The grid is very light. It's very, very tiny. It's like 2 mm maybe. Let's see if it's hard to see. Yeah, I would say it's 2 mm. And then, towards the end, I was trying to do a quick pen test. Um, here's my Pilot Vanishing Point EF Takesume ink. It writes really well on it. Um, it writes really well. It feels nice when you write on it. This is pencil. It's so smooth with the pencil. And here, let me see if I can use my sailor to show you. Unfortunately, I don't have any of my inks um, or pens inked with really fun colors. You can hear the sound, which is very 
very satisfying. This is Dragon Palace. And it's the Sailor Black Partridge. All right. Let me use my glass pen to show you if this, if this sheens, um, what that would look like. I don't have that many fun colors because I personally use darker inks. Let's see. This is a very bright blue. Okay, I think it's dried up a bit. Give me one second. That's what happens when I buy very, very small. Very small um, sample sizes. Sailor. Wanyo. Yomiji. Oh, Yomogi. Interesting. So let's see how that sheens in Tomoe River paper. say this has pretty good sheen. It's sheening a little bit of that dark navy over that cerulean blue, which is really cool. Um, yeah, it's actually pretty good, pretty impressive. Um, Tomorrow River Paper is very well known for how well it shows shading inks, sheening inks, shimmerings. So this is actually pretty good. You do see some of the gridding come through. No bleed through. There is ghosting. You can, everything ghosted. Let's say that. Everything ghosted. Um, if you're a fan of Tomoe River Paper, that's probably acceptable to you. If you're not, then you might be a little surprised of how much it goes, but it's very thin. And I think people like that it's thin because you can carry quite a bit in your um, planner and you don't have to carry the whole planner with you at once. Some people want to make it more portable. That's probably the pros of having a ring system. You can take pages in, take pages out, and it's thin enough to carry quite a few pages. I think it can carry probably about 80, which is what I read on the website. Um, that's pretty impressive considering the rings are very, very small. Um, let's see. What other great sheening rings can I do? Oh, this, uh, I don't think I have any more. What the ha -ha. Oh, yes. Oh, this is a great one to try. The Kokio ink. So I haven't had a chance. You wipe that down. I'll just show you. Let's see how this one sheens. This is the Sailor Yurameku Kokyo ink. It's very beautiful. It like puts, when you write it, put it down first, it looks purple, then it dries a bit gray and then pink. Wow, you can actually see quite a bit of the sheen. I'm impressed. Does, does a fantastic job. I think this is why fountain pen enthusiasts are always searching for the next um, Tomoe River paper, I guess, for showing off pen qualities. Oh, this is quite impressive. It might, it's hard to capture on camera all the qualities. It looks pink, blue, purple, gray, but that's a really fun color. has a little bit wrinkled a little bit not too bad because I did put down quite a bit um, from that 
And then this is what it looks like on the Tomoe River. And this is the original Tomoe River paper, not the Sansen. Huh. Really nice. I have to say I'm impressed. And this has sheened um, into that almost reddish dark black. Very cool. So, there you have it. This is the DP paper. I will do another test. Tombo, Tombo, Fude pen. I'll do a quick swatch of a dual brush pen. It actually works pretty well. It does not quite as satisfying as putting the dual brush on the on the Hobonichi paper. As you can see, it doesn't even shriek at all. It just looks like I'm painting with it, which is so beautiful. On any of normal paper, you'll see all the lines I just made. So it kind of blends in. Here you can see the lines. So I would say this is not as satisfying as the Hobonichi's original Tomoe River paper. Well, it's not bad. It layered on. It layered on quite nice. Let's see if I'll layer another purple on the top of it. Yeah. I don't think it takes the jewel brush quite as well as. There's a little bit of bleed through. Almost. I think that was, I mean, that was four or five swatches in. Although, this one is, yeah. This one's, I mean, that's my favorite medium to use, actually. Um, it's actually not felt pens, it's actually the Tombow or any other kind of markers. Um, so I just wanna share how that looked. And since they actually own or they're part of the same company, but I will share with you how this looked like. And this is the Sailor Haha. -ha. The sheen is not as glamorous on the Midori MD paper, but this one has a lot less show through, I think. And this is a little rougher. This is much smoother. I think this is more of a comparison for the Tomori River paper, so. This is where it's coming from. Just thought I would share what it looked like next to each other. All right. So that is my little dive into the plotter brand, the plotter planner of monthly and weekly. Um, All together, I would say this is 142 pages, so it's quite thick. And then if you were to put the monthly in too, like, this is kind of intense. Um, I think you can, can this all fit into one plotter planner? I mean, I would have to look into how many pages it can actually fit, because this seems quite thick. Um, and the rings look very, very small. So but there you have it. Um, there's the overview you can think about whether you would find a ring system helpful if you're someone who needs to take you know pages in and out for me personally i'm at a place where i'm enjoying the bound books uh bound journals quite a bit right now um if at a future time i want to you know have that flexibility to bring things in and out i'll definitely you know, take a look at Plotter. They make it look very elegant, very beautiful. Um, so, and the paper is quite nice. Uh, I, I do enjoy this paper and I think I'll enjoy testing out, you know, some more swatches or inks on it as well. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope it was helpful. I know there's not that much information about Plotter out there. So, you know, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them below and I'll see you next time. Bye.